welcome back guys so in this video i'll be talking about different topics i'll start with beta 3k ps beta android m later this is its discord server performance in uncharted golden abyss has improved developer mac 2 uploaded its gameplay running on beta 3k android m later for some reason video is not loading so i'll move on to the next gameplay this is muramasa rebirth running at 60 fps i can't hear any audio 2D game. You can see the FPS counter here. So good to see compatibility of games is improving. Let me show you the next gameplay. Asphalt Injection is now running on Beta 3K Android. Audio is centered here. Getting around 50 FPS. Good old times. Yeah, there are many other races. Average FPS is around 47. Game seems to be in a playable state. Now guys a lot of people often ask me about the release date of this emulator's android build. I have no idea about it. This is Vita 3K's website and you can see under android nightly section not yet is mentioned. When the android build is officially available you will find it under this section. As of now nightly builds are available for only windows, mac os and linux platforms. I have covered the windows build of Vita 3K. Link to that video will be given in the description of this video. Don't fall for any applications claiming to be Beta 3K Android emulator. They are most probably just the malware. Moving on to Daemon Switch Android emulator. It was supposed to be released in June 2022 but that did not happen. This is Daemon's official website. Here the screenshot of the emulator and a game is shared. Upon zooming in, I can see Pro mentioned here. So it seems this emulator will be having a free and pro build. The same thing happened with Daemon PS2 emulator. With the free build, it is expected to be laced with a lot of advertisements. Controller support may not be present, only touch controls. Limited number of safe state slots available. Limited access to the settings in order to get rid of all of these restrictions. We may be required to pay for the pro build. Daemon PS2 emulator is allegedly running on code stolen from PCSS2 emulator. And it seems Daemon team is again going down the same path with Daemon Switch emulator. Let me just change the language. Now if I zoom in, check out the name of this application Daemon Switch, Switch Emulator Yuzu Ryujinx. Now Yuzu and Ryujinx are two different Switch emulators for PC. Both are open source. It seems Daemon team has stolen code from these two emulators. And you can see the version of this emulator 1. Size of the emulator 34.3 MB. Platform Android. I won't be surprised at all if someone finds out that Daemon team has stolen code from Skyland Switch Android emulator as well. This icon actually belongs to Yuzu emulator. They still haven't provided any release date. It should be releasing soon as version 1 seems to be ready. The popular Epic Games Christmas event has been confirmed for the year 2022. The event will take place between December 15, 2022 and January 5, 2023. We will be getting 15 paid games for absolutely free. Yes, you heard it right. One game every day starting from December 15th. Epic discount coupon also makes a return. So make sure you grab all of these 15 paid games and also make the best use of the discount coupon. As of now, you can grab Star Wars Squadrons for absolutely free from Epic Games website. Link will be given in the description of this video. This offer ends on 1st December 2022. This is a post made yesterday on Indian Gaming subreddit page. GeForce Now is coming to India provided by Geo. GeForce Now is a cloud game streaming service. Using it, we can play PC games on our devices using internet. For cloud gaming, a 5GHz band Wi-Fi channel or an Ethernet connection is recommended. Usually, mobile 4G networks are not recommended due to their high latencies. According to the OP, GeForce Now in India is currently in testing phase. It is limited to Geo set-top box only. 
can't access it on PC and mobile phones. Need to apply for the beta access on Geo Cloud Games website. The same beta access is required in order to run Geo's own cloud game streaming service, Geo Games Now. I have already tested that service. I still have the beta access. But the thing is, when I open the Geo Games application on my mobile phone, GeForce Now section does not show up. So the set top box restriction seems to be real. I can only access the cloud section, which gives me access to Geo Games Now service. That service does not have games like Watch Dogs 2, Destiny 2. And here, powered by GeForce Now is also mentioned. This is not mentioned in Geo Games Now cloud streaming service. So that service does seem to be different from GeForce Now. Hopefully GeForce Now in India won't be restricted to Geo Fiber ISP only. No pricing for different plans has been revealed yet. Public rollout is expected in the month of January 2023. Looking forward to it. I'll end the video here guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.